a 4-4-2 four, four, here today. Owen Anderson and Aiden Hazarkani up top. Hazarkani just signed an MLS Next Pro contract. The young 16-year-old has impressed many throughout the organization. Eighth match played this season. It'll be Fernando Delgado in goal for Monarchs. Former U.S. International Ricardo Clark guides Vancouver Whitecaps FC2 coming out in a 3-5-2 with Cyprian Cachuele. Just waiting for the official's whistle. There it is, underway here in Utah. Our referee is Brad Jensen here this evening. Owen Anderson getting the start up front as well for Real Monarchs. He was the goal scorer last week. Oh, it's nearly a bad giveaway here. Shot fired. Oh, that's a mistake. And it's pounced on by Florian Chateau. A difficult pass to handle in the back. Nicolas Florian Chateau pounces on it. It's an early strike for Vancouver. Monarchs giveaway. Here's Vancouver offensively now. Clipped into the area. Header on goal. And Delgado able to slide across. Kaz in the box again. He's going to one time it towards goal. Just wide of the post. But why not let one rip there in that moment? Monarchs have to get across in. It is cleared. And that will signal the end of the half. Did not take long for Vancouver to score. Must have all over Chicago Fire. 5 0. It was earlier today. Philadelphia Union, who also shares the top spot in the East, they fell the crew. Columbus Crew to 3 to 2, the final score of that. As we're back underway here, urgency starting to level up here. Played short to Bell. He'll turn. Bell across the 18, he's gonna line one up here. Bell fires, it trickles right along the edge of the goal line. Max Anchor to the turf to be sure. Now Bell with it again, spray it to the far side. Silva delivers it in here. There's the equalizer, Elijah Paul! Royal Monarchs have tied the match in the 80th minute. Elijah Paul off the shouldn't be all too much again maybe two or three minutes is that going to get through Jockwison now in the dying moments plays it back central shot off the woodwork Benny Redzik nearly had the game winner this was that there was all sorts of space really quite surprising anchor was beat Red will be issued to Anderson. So yellow to Clark. Anderson given the yellow, the red. He's not going to participate in the shootout. The final whistle may blow at the very moment the kick is taken anyway. Be down a man. I don't think that it really will be. Costly Delgado is going to be given a red. Round one. There's Shamankov straight into the back of the net. No problem there. Paul shuffling to his right. Give me a half moment before that shot was taken. You've got to think advantage Vancouver here, don't you? Paul tries to find his bearings. See how he adjusts next time out. Here's Tommy Silva. Blocked. And Max Anker stays in front. Terrific start here for Vancouver in the shootout. No chance there. Waits a tad longer to make any move. Schubert. Missed it. Oh, he missed it. 
The crowd here fired up. I'm not sure if Paul got a touch to it or it was just wide. Second look. I think it was just just hooked. But, but, but well done though by, by Paul. He was right at the post. He may have had it. Wow, this development. Now Jockwison. Tom Jockwison, level it up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Much better round that time for the Salt Lake side. Anchor was leaning right the whole time. Uh, Florio Chateau. The goal scorer in the fifth minute. The two goal scorers today. Upon Paul, just trying to do any sort of free shot theatrics I can. Shuffling. And no problems for Flores Chateau that time. Business like walks up right in the corner. Dives to his, dove to his right on the second. Hadn't moved too much either than that. Here's Kalaskan. Trying to keep it level here in the third round of the shootout. You betcha. Great penalty. No stopping that. That's well taken. Oh, the rocket. Mary. Hey. Paul's been glued to the pit, to the turf two of his three times. So we guess either way. <laughs> Mary. Got him. Right side. Anything out of Paul here. This is not his forte. And now he'll be the one to take the penalty. He's going to help himself out here. Brown at his back. Clips it in. grin and a smile from Anchor after that. That's some uh, keeper and keep and keeper respect, if you will. Moonlighting in goal right now. Here's Simmons. In the fifth round now, if Paul can make a save, Monarchs will have an opportunity to win it. Be a long run up here for Simmons. Simmons. Oh, Paul got a hand to it. That was close. Just slipped under his hand. Shuffling to his right and then diving to his left. I, it was a good effort there from Paul. Oh 
I was the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year was Paul. Doing all he can in net right now. Storley must score. Or this one's over. Got it. We'll go to a sixth round. Cool, composed finish from Keller Storley. That'll be Clark. Clark puts it through. No issues on that one here at the start off round six. Be the next up. Around Monarchs. It's going to be Matthew Bell. And a prolific goal scorer at Marshall. Matthew Bell must score. And he goes top in. Anchor guessed correctly, but there's no stopping that. On to the seventh round. Last finish. Former Sun Belt Conference Player of the Year. And now a Jogby. Talk about pressure moments in your first ever professional match. David a Jogby. Going to come through in round seven here. A Jogby. Blows it by Paul. He looked for a, a fleeting second, like Paul was in the right position there. Once again, Real Monarchs must score. It's going to be Redzik. Be a short run up. Seventh round, it's Redzik. Slips it by Anchor. Full length extension. Anchor couldn't quite get to it. And we continue. It's going to be Bean. Should be who made his professional debut today. Elijah Paul in goal, who has nine appearances with Ralph Salt Lake to his name. Looking for a save. It won't be that time. Holtz, the most experienced of this Real Monarchs bunch today. One time professional, Holtz steps up, buries it. Converted on his first. Off the crossbar! Missed it! Oh wow, and Monarchs can win it with a score here. And would that, wouldn't that be something with Paul, the goal scorer in regulation? He didn't make a save in the shootout, but that's the second miss now for Vancouver. And now Silva can win it. He had the assists for Paul in regulation. Tommy Silva to win it for Real Monarchs. Yes. Got it! Silva scores, Real Monarchs win.
And how about this evening's performance from Elijah Paul?